Hello trappers, it's Shane, Papio Creek Trapping Supply. I'd like to show you my hole getter that I use on my coon line and my mink line. What I do is I punch two and a quarter inch to two and a half inch, uh, inch and a half holes uh, in the mud banks in the, in the bottom side bank area. Uh, they work very well. Uh, I call them the hole getter. Right here is your two and a quarter inch. It's six inches of tube. It's on seven sixteenths rod. It's got a five inch handle. Uh, it's three feet long. This is my inch and a half. Same makeup, seven sixteenths, five inch handle. It's also a real nice retrieving boss to get down. It gives you another three foot reach. So I can pull on my drowning lines. Uh, traps that are down in whatnot it works very well anywhere let's let's get after uh, making some holes right here I paint mine red because if I leave them lay I'll be able to find it on the next trip or find it before I leave but anyway uh, all you do is you come up to the bank give it a twist pull it out it gives you a nice hole you can come up here and a little bit harder, you can step on it, turn it, pulls out, makes a very nice hole. I'd like to have the crew come on in and take a closer look at this. What you do is you put it where you want your hole. You go ahead and step on the top of the tube. You have your T-handle here. Drive it in, give it a twist pulls right out. You have a nice hole. Anyway, they work very well and uh, you go ahead and check out our website and uh, you can order them from me or ask your uh, trapping dealer, uh, trap supply house uh, for a Hole Getter by Papio Creek Trapping Supply. Thanks for viewing. Hey trappers, here we are on a dam here, part of the creek system that I trap on for a lot of mink and coon. I got my hole getter. This gives me a nice little pocket set. Uh, and how I go about that is that I've got a nice ledge here to set the trap. I want to put a little pocket hole here so I just drive it in turn it and pull it out you have a nice pocket set you can drop some bait in it set your trap I like to put a drowning wire out a slide wire and then my catch is down here out of human contact human view uh, it doesn't tear the set up And I also use my smaller hole. We'll come on down and take a look at the hole. Then higher up on the bank, you can come up and shove it in. Give it a turn. As you see, it's cleaning out the previous. And as you come out, give it a turn. It gives you a nice hole to set your bait and lure in. Um, they work very well. They also work very good in the snow. Um, I use them extensively. I don't go anywhere trapping without one. What I do is I find where I want the hole and then you just shove it in. As you can see the previous mud is coming out of it. Give your hole getter a turn as you're coming out. There is a vacuum that takes place, but as you can see, you have a nice hole, good visual. You want another one, just shove it in, give it a turn, pull it out. Then you have another nice hole. You can do this all day long with these, they'll last you a lifetime.
Get yourself a hole getter. Get a hold of your trapping wholesaler. Ask for the Papio Creek hole getter. Uh, they'll put a lot of fur on your shed. Thanks for viewing.